Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card reading and we have three decks as usually uh, before us and it's deck one, deck two, deck three. So um, if you're looking for some guidance, if you have any questions that need to be answered, if you just need a bit of a relief or a reprieve from what you've been going through, then um, go ahead, choose a deck that you feel resonates with you and go down to the description box below where you'll find your timestamp and then you may go directly to your video. So before we get into it, I just want to say that some of the turbulent energies that we've been uh, dealing with in the last weeks uh, in May, I mean, sorry, in April and uh, in the last week of May is behind us now. And uh, with the new moon in May that we've had this last weekend, uh, we are really entering into a really beautiful and uh, prosperous energy. So it's possible to really make things happen right now. It's possible to really uh, have things um, kind of manifest in the way in which you desire. And if you've given up on some hopes and some dreams and you are thinking of resurrecting them, well, now is, the good time, is a good time to do that. And you will just have this burst of energy or the spurt of energy that will help you pull things to, to the next level. So go ahead and use this energy for you and for what it is that you desire. So for those of you who haven't chosen your deck as yet, please go ahead and do that now. You may pause the video and I'm going to get right into the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, we are asking, what is your guidance for this week? What is your guidance for this week? Or what is it that you've come here to hear? It may not just be for this week. It may be for any time at which you decide to consult this video. And... It may be for a longer period as well. Longer than a week, that is. So that feels right to me. I read oracle cards just in the upright fashion. If the net message is negative or something pertaining to that which is reversed, I, I would receive that message. So here we have the number 19 and it is the Lord of the Forest. Okay, so we have the number 19 and it's the Lord of the Forest. And what I'm hearing here is that one of the things that you'll need to do right now, just let me adjust my lighting here so that you can see that there we are okay so one of the things I'm hearing here is that uh, it feels to me that what some of you have been through uh, so this not, might not resonate with everyone but what it feels like some of you have been through is like um, like some kind of addiction you know where you've been you haven't had control over yourself and you haven't had control over your actions and you haven't had control over your destiny. And what I'm hearing here is that this is something that's past you now. So it doesn't need to be an addic addiction regarding alcohol or drugs or something like this. It could be that you're addicted to a person. It could be that you're addicted to an idea of love. It could be that you're addicted to a certain type of behavior. Um, an example is that you know you might have wanted something and you were just completely dedicated to that and addicted uh, to the turmoil that came along with actually trying to achieve that goal. And what I'm hearing here is that this is actually behind you right now and you don't need this any longer. You actually can let go of this at this point and this would be an opportune time for you to let go of it because there has been an opening. So it's like an overcast sky and there's a little opening and the sky is still grey with tinges of blue and the sun is nowhere to be seen but there is a, a little light that comes through and that is your signal to actually let go and to just move on from this right now. So this addictive behavior, whatever it is that you've been um, consumed by, so you know it might not be an addiction in everyone's case. It might just be something that's just been really consuming and not 
holding you backward. It's like uh, you haven't been able to really, you know, like run or sprint. Uh, you've just been kind of in chains or like in a wheelchair. You're not really able to move ahead. Okay, well, this is something that's going to be behind you right now. So it's going to move. Your, your, the energy is shifting and you're going to have a change. This is a cycle that's come to an end. But what they're saying is that you are at the end of the cycle. So you are still in this energy to some extent. The worst is behind you. And now you are still vulnerable and weak and you still need to move ahead and you need to build on what you have. So it's about accumulating your resources and about gathering it all together and close to you, keeping your cards close to your chest as well. And then just being able to um, create your new path and move ahead with a new energy. And the energy that you'll move ahead in, uh, or with rather, will have a completely different feeling to it. It will be brand new and it will be inspiring and it will be a recovery. It's like an energy of recovery. So what I mean by that you're still in this is that you're still at the tail end of it, okay? And the tail end of it is actually the recovery period. So you need to heal from it and you need to overcome it. And it's not like you're going to step out of this right now and step into your perfect and ideal life. But what's actually happening is that there is going to be a time where you need to say, for instance, detox or, you know, withdraw. Perhaps you need to withdraw from society. Perhaps you need to, perhaps you'll have withdrawal symptoms, quite literally, if it is an addiction uh, with some kind of um, chemicals um, or, or something that you've consumed. And you it, this is something, a period that you'll need to go with. And what I'm hearing here is that this this period is actually really important. Okay, so this, you've been through this turmoil, you've been through this difficulty, you're at the tail end of it. It is actually over, but it feels, because it still lives within you, because you still are tra traumatized by it, you need some time to recover. And as you've recovered, and as you've moved ahead, when you move ahead, when you're ready to move ahead, it will be very clear to you that you are walking a new path and it will be very clear to you. It won't just be this tiny hole in the sky that's showing you, um, that's giving you the sign of hope. But it'll be a sense, a, a kind of a feeling of being free. So the other thing I'm getting from this card is that right now is a good time to be earthed and to be with with the forest or with the earth or with the with trees, with uh, with grass, with with the soil. And you're going to gain your uh, comfort from the earth right now. So go ahead and, and spend time outside, outdoors, and go into the forest or go to the trees for your wisdom. Um, and you will, you, if you need to contemplate or meditate, go, go in, into nature to be able to access the wisdom that comes along with that meditation, as well as the healing that comes from the earth. And this is a very important part of what will sustain you in the next while. All right. And thereafter, after that, after that phase, however long it may, you may need, for some of you, you may need two or three days. For some of you, it will be two or three weeks. For some of you, it might be a few months or even a year. Um, whatever it is that you need, Take this time, respect this time, and know that this is an important part of your recovery. And when you have recovered, you will be a brand new person and you will be able to walk your new life in, um, and walk towards the goals that you have and, and begin to be able to dream again and go forth uh, in, uh, in, with a new spirit and a new sense of being, literally. It's like you're being reborn or not like you're resurrected because resurrected implies that it's the same person coming back to life. But this is like you've, you know, you've kind of let go of that which has held you back in your life and you're about to embark upon a new path. And this is simply, as I've said already, the tail end of that process of letting go. All right, so that's the message that I have for you today. I hope that has resonated with you and that it is actually uh, something that uh, will help you. And um, 
yeah, it was a very specific message, you know, and so I'm not sure how much of that has resonated with you, but I trust that those of you who were drawn to choose this deck has uh, has heard have heard something uh, that is going to be of value to you. And I don't know why, but the numbers don't really stand out to me. Usually uh, I don't really think much of them. I am aware of the numerology and the significance of it, uh, but I'm just being drawn to this 19 over and over again. And um, the first message I got was like, it's 19, you know, like 19th century or the 1900s and it's behind us. It's in the past. Okay. But the other thing I've got is like one and nine is actually 10. And that is the equivalent to the numerological number uh, or the numerological value one, which is you alone and you actually going forth with all your power intact and you are facing off with all that's around you, but with a degree of ambition. And uh, okay, I know the, the textbook uh, definition of uh, the num numerological value one, and I'm not giving you that, uh, but this is what I'm hearing from this, and, and this is how I'm perceiving this right now. So um, yeah, it's just, that's your message for today, and I hope that has helped you. I'm wishing you very well, and thank you for coming by. And we are moving on to the next deck of cards, which are these ones here. And the question we're asking today is, what is it that you need to hear? What is your weekly or oracle guidance? What is the guidance that you need to, to hear right now? Okay, so I've got a medicine bundle here. I feel like I've chosen this card for this channel before. Oh, I might be mistaken though. So it's the number 28 and the card title is medicine bundle or what it represents is medicine bundle. But it also has the caption of allies and support here. I don't know if you see that well or not. Um, yeah. Okay, so what I'm hearing right now is that uh, for those of you who've chosen this deck, there are times when you need to step away from that which is around you. And there are times when you need to grow uh, while being on your own and you need to take a distance. But now, for you, this is not the time. So what I'm hearing right now is that for whatever it is that you need to progress through, whatever it is that you need to get beyond, whatever obstacles or blockages or whatever is on your path that you need to overcome, what I'm hearing here is ask for as much assistance as you can. Pick up that book that you've ordered or that you have on your shelf that has the information in it that you haven't yet read and read it because the information is there. You know, take the medication, take your take your 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 vitamins that have been sitting in your drawer and that you've not taken, and do take the advice and the help from people. Don't deny yourself the support and the help that you need right now. And for those of you who are not the you know the, this does not apply to you know you do read your books so you do actually take your vitamins or whatever it is that me you need. What I'm hearing here is that yes, it's not just about that, but it's also about you not being recognizing that you're one part of a whole yes you are self-sufficient and yes you are independent but that independence also affords you the ability to ask for help or to be able to discern when you need help in, and to be able to ask for help okay so you have this this power to be able to ask for help and take that help as well as to say no to the help and the power not does not just reside in saying no to the help all right so if you have people around you who can support you, institutions, uh, agencies, funds, um, whatever it is that can support you right now, perhaps the, the medical uh, system or the, the, some hospitals, doctors, or whatever it is that you need, ask for it, go ahead, take it up, bundle it up. Okay, it's yours for the taking and let it heal you and let it work with you and use it for whatever it is that you need to do, use it for, you know, and this includes using herbs, using crystals, using uh, incense, 
use using leaves using the soil use whatever it is that's at your disposal and if it's not so easily at your disposal then don't be afraid to ask for that help because this is what's important right now okay and it's it's important in getting together your kind of muti or your um it's like also your mojo you know get, getting together accumulating or gathering together your resources your um whatever it is that you need to help you in order to be able to form uh what it is that you need alchemically to get to where you need to go to all right so the way i see it is that there's a beginning a middle and an end here in what you're dealing with and the the beginning has to do with accumulating you know taking out the library books and uh getting together your herbs if that's what you're needing or your teas or your medicines or your vitamins or or and then seeking the consultation getting the help that you need because this is not something that you can manage by yourself it is indicated to you here that a medicine bundle would be to your uh to of value to you it would be like your it will be your best friend okay it's it and so getting together everything that you need and doing the research as to how to use it and then actually using it okay and that's the middle and when you've used it then arriving at your end with it and risk coming into your goals and being having managed that having uh, succeeded at that and, and this is what you need you need help right now to deal with this or just to go on with your daily life and so seek the help that you need and um, if you don't know what that is then then intuit it you know sit down and close your eyes and um, create a blank mind and see what comes what pops into it immediately after or, or ask the question what is it that I need and see what what feeling you get or what smell you 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 have or what you what you can smell or what you just feel with your five senses or more than five senses and 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 you'll know what it is that you need um and if it isn't as clear you will be given signals or you will be there will be synchronicities that will um uh, repetitive synchronicities that will actually give you the information that you need so that's your advice um, and that's your guidance for this week It's to get, get the support that you need, gather it, go out, research, get the information that you need and apply it. And uh, yes, I'm wishing you all very well and I hope that that message has been of help to you. So for those of you who've chosen the third deck, we're using the Enchanted Map Oracle. We're asking, what is it that you need to hear right now? What is it that you need to hear right now? Oops. Okay, that one's flown out and it really feels like it needs to be spoken. So I'm going to keep it out here. I don't always take cards that are flipped out, especially when I um, when I get the guidance to go on shuffling. Uh, sometimes the cards, uh, it's just the energy, you know, that's flying through. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's the card. The card we have here today is the number 31 and it's called Dry Desert so for you, for those of you who've chosen these, uh, this deck here, I feel that things are going according to plan. And I feel that there isn't much effort more required on your part. Um, so you can basically cruise through what what needs to. You, you can just like let go right now and just cruise through uh, at this moment because you don't need to have your... Um, your guard up you don't need to you can just relax and just enjoy this process and wander through as you have been your focus is it's not as clear as it needs to be but it is irrelevant at this moment it's not necessary for your focus to be clear um, your path will only need you to lead you to one place okay it's not going to lead you anywhere else than where you need to be so there is nothing more that you can do right now than to just let go and to relax and to meander along as you've been doing at the same pace as which you have been and you will find yourself where you need to be ultimately. Okay, that's the first message I'm getting. The second message I'm getting is that the self-assuredness that you've been uh, gaining over the last few months, the work that you've been doing on yourself, the actual progress that you've made in your life is 
in fact, what's supporting you and giving this, you the strength right now so that the effort, it feels effortless. What you're doing right now, what you're about to do right now will feel effortless. And it's as if it, you've been carried through this desert. And uh, it's not like you need to trudge through it, but that you almost float through it. And you do so with your dignity intact. And you do so with the support, the support of the forces around you. And you're not alone in this. Um... The other thing I'm hearing here is that the goal that you have, that you have set forth in the future that you are headed towards is something that you will reach ultimately, but it won't have the same nature as what you have actually believed it to have. So it may appear to be rosier or um, more comforting than it actually is. It might, it may actually turn out to be exactly what you what it appeared to be but the finer detail will be a more abrasive than you've actually anticipated but this is not to be worried about right now right now you just need to let go and go with the flow and go with this confidence that you've acquired and if this confidence has not yet come to bear fully just have faith and trust that you will be fine on this path and that the path that you're walking on right now is the path that you need to be walking. I'm feeling that there may be turbulence or there may be impending turbulence around you, but this is not going to affect you in any way and that it's not necessary for you to be concerned about it, that you need not batten down the hatches for the storm that you need not uh, put your guard up, as I mentioned already, but simply to flow on, move on, as if these forces are not there, as if these forces are not impending. And what's going to happen is that by your reaction, you are going to initiate it passing over you. So it's like a, a storm that's threatening, but it's not going to rain upon you. It's going to by the signal of your disinterest, move beyond you and settle somewhere else, if at all. But it's not going to impact you, so you don't need to worry about that. In fact, it has less to do with you. You'll need to keep your mind on your goal and focus on that and let that carry you. And let, let Be hypnotized by it or be memorized, um, mesmerized by it and let it take you along its path and when you come out of this hypnotism or this trance, uh, when you've reached your destination and you actually are awoken, you are going to be where you want it to be. So just enjoy the ride for the moment. All right. So that is the message. That's uh, albeit a short message um, for those of you chosen number three uh, deck. And I hope that has resonated and I hope that does help you in some way, even if it doesn't resonate at this moment. And um, I'm wishing you all the best and much, much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. Take good care.